Hey guys, it's Brandon from Electric Marketing, uh, and today I'm going to walk you through how to do SEO for uh, Shopify, just some basic stuff. Um, so first and foremost, we'll start off with uh, what you want to actually do before you start. So like the keyword research, that's very important. And we're going to get into how you can optimize for products, collections, and pages. Uh, but first and foremost, SEO always starts with keyword research. And so let's begin with that. I like to use SEMrush, uh, their keyword magic tool, but I'm going to provide a bunch of free options in the description as well in case you don't have access to this. Uh, but this is really like the premier SEO software tool. Um, I'm able to add all the different keywords for my particular clients and then have a master keyword list that they all populate into. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to be doing this with uh, my client who sells women's underwear, uh, primarily focusing on a monthly subscription. So let's get started. If you look at a product in your website, you'll see that at the bottom, you will have a SEO title and SEO meta description here. And this one's already been optimized. Um, I just did that right before I hopped on uh, to do this tutorial video. You'll see Lace Thong, Zinnia Black, BU Undies. Um, and I like to use this naming convention for the entirety of their product set. And if you look at the keywords, you'll see Lace Thong, Black Thong, Lace Black Thong. So I was trying to identify which one has the highest keyword volume, but the lowest search engine difficulty in terms of how saturated that keyword is on the search engines. And I like to do it by keyword, more of a descriptor, and then the brand name. And then if you look into the actual meta description, you'll see lace thong, black, and a little more details, because this is gonna affect your click-through rate as well. Now to change this, you're going to edit page title, meta description, you can just click in here and click save. And you want to make sure that your URL is also in line with your keywords. So is any of black thong. Um, ideally, this would be uh, lace thong black or lace thong Zinnia black. Um, so, but we'll probably change that later on down the line once we get approval uh, from that. And I'll walk you through how to actually do it on the fly and sort of what you're going to look for. So this is a different version of that product, but it hasn't been optimized yet. So if you want to look up white thong, so you'll see white thong has 880 volume at a lower difficulty than lace thong. So in this case, I might switch it up. White thong. Lace. Um, but typically, it depends on whether or not we want to be consistent or to really try and hammer home on those uh, low hanging fruit keywords. Alternatively, we can do the same for consistency. Now, since we typically like to be consistent, we'll copy this over. And always change up the meta description a little bit because you don't want to be marked out for people get meta descriptions. Um, but this is basically fine. Elegant detailed lace thong in white, made from 90% polyamide and 10% spandex. This design runs true to size and is sure to have you feeling sexy all day. Um, so we're using some of the messaging that they like to use throughout their site. We're also hitting on those keywords uh, in the page title, in the meta description, and also in the URL handle. Now, if you look up in their actual content, they, you're also going to find the keywords here, and you'll find the keyword in the title as well. Um, ideally, you want it represented in all of those items. So it's like a little checklist, page title, meta description, URL and handle, title, description, and then lastly your alt text so what you're going to do here is just type in playlist thong you want these done now you have it represented on all of the possibilities so again page title at the bottom meta description at the bottom 
URL and handle at the bottom, that's three. Then your actual title of the product that shows up on your site is four. Then the content in the actual description, which is five. And your images, where you can edit the alt text, that's six. So there's six things that you need to do on every product, every page, and every collection to make sure that it is properly optimized. And once you're done with that, click Save. Now you can do this for all pages and all collections as well. And if you're curious where pages are, it's underneath online store, and then you'll just see pages. And collections, which a lot of people forget to do this one, is underneath products. And this can be even more powerful because you have so many products within this collection, it's gonna rank typically higher than just a single product. And then here you'll see how we optimized it. Cheeky underwear, women's cheekies, view on these. Shot from our collection of cheeky underwear. These cheekies are sure to make you feel sexy. A portion of all proceeds goes towards women's shelters. So not only are we able to capitalize on all those keywords, but we actually get to put into the meta description a differentiating factor for this business so that people are gonna be more likely to click through. Depends on whether or not what your uh, theme is, whether you'll have a description though for collections. So you actually don't want to add a description if your theme doesn't allow the description to show up. Like if the images just go over it, because then it's like hidden text on your site and that's bad in terms of indexing with Google and it's you get marked down. It's like SEO black hat practice. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to do bulk edits. So this is really great if you only want to update the SEO title and the meta description. So just select all, click edit products, and now you're gonna be able to choose what you want to update with these particular products. Let me expand this out so it's easier for everyone to see. We don't care about SKU. We don't really care about price or the compare at price. So let's get rid of those. But what we do care about is that SEO page title which I showed you at the bottom. So going back here, that's this right here, and where you can edit right here. We now have that in a bulk editor for all of these. So we, what I like to do is just pull up the page title and just scroll through all of these and knock them out. So in this case, Alyssa Cheeky Black, it would be Alyssa Black, you on these. Next, just keep going through. Um, the one thing I will mention to you is that Shopify will sometimes like log you out or just refresh and you'll lose everything that you've done otherwise. So I like to save like every five products just so a disaster like that does not happen. Uh, you can also add the meta description and the URL and handle. you're able to update everything within here and just save, which makes it a heck of a lot easier than going into each product. Um, you're also able to do this for pages as well as, as well as collections. And you are able to update the title as well if you select on title. So you can basically get everything in here. Um, obviously the one thing that you are not able to do is actually change the content that is on that page. So in terms of uh, your alt descriptions and the actual content, you're gonna have to go into each product and do that yourself. Um, but this is a great way to knock out not only the product title, but the SEO page title, the SEO meta description, and then your URL handle. Um, making sure that your keywords are represented in each one, as previously mentioned. Uh, so ideally here, it would be uh, lace thongs in the black or something, uh, something along those lines. So then you have lace thong here, lace thong here, um, and lace thong in the URL and handle as well. Um, but that is really just sort of the basic SEO for Shopify. So those that sort of checklist of those six things, which I'll provide in the description as well, is what you absolutely need to do for your site um, to start showing up in uh, the search engines. Ideally, you'd also hook up now your Google Analytics and Google Search Council, uh, and then with the Google Search Council, you can submit your site for indexing and get feedback directly from Google about what's possibly wrong uh, with your site. 
and you'll be able to get better reporting in terms of what keywords are driving traffic to your site. But this is a basic SEO 101, what you need to do uh, for your Shopify site. And as always, if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to comment or uh, reach out to Brandon at electricmarketing.com. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more tutorials in the future, uh, please subscribe. Thanks.